sana Levis Musumba nataka ni kuacha na taarifa hii ambayo inasema hivi. Homa ya COVID-19 ilipozuka miaka michache iliyopita ilivuruga masomo nchini. Kwingineko sera ya serikali kuhusu mpito wa asilimia moja kwa wanafunzi shuleni imezidi kuibua changamoto za uhaba wa walimu na msongamano wa wanafunzi hasa katika shule za umma. Na ili kuzikabili changamoto hizi, kampuni ya Smart Schools Technologies imevumbua teknolojia ya mafunzo kupitia mfumo wa matangazo ambayo humwezesha mwalimu mmoja kufunza madarasa mengi iwezekanavyo kwa wakati mmoja ingawa teknolojia hii ilitumika kwa mara ya kwanza katika shule ya sekondari ya Maranda umaarufu wake umeendelea kukua na sasa shule nyingi zinaitumia teknolojia hiyo kwa ajili ya maandalizi ya mitihani ya taifa yani revision shut up miti na taarifa hiyo kwa heri mimi ni Suleiman Yeri tuungane saa 12 tazama we were proceeding with the revision huyu ni mwalimu katika shule ya uvulana ya Machakos na anapoendelea na kufunza mkuu wa shule anayefuatilia yote anayefanyika darasani kutoka ofisini mwake. Uh, we are observing your class from this end. I notice a few desks are empty. Anaweza kuzungumza na mwalimu na wanafunzi wakiwa darasani naye akiwa ofisini. Good afternoon again. Kisha upo mfumo mwingine wa kufunza ambapo mwalimu wa geografia Mutua Mwende anafunza wanafunzi wa kidado cha nne wakiwa katika madarasa saba tofauti kwa wakati mmoja. Mfumo huu wa kufunza unatambulika kwa jina Smart Teaching Broadcast. Uh, is a first of its kind in that uh, as opposed to other teaching uh, online teaching uh, platforms. This one has very closely mimicked uh, a physical in class teaching uh, interaction between the teacher and the learner it has audio interaction between the teacher and the student in class such that the teacher can ask the students in class a question and they can be able to answer secondly it has a visual interaction between the teacher and the students in class in that they can see the teacher on the screen in the classes and the teacher is able to see the student in all the classes that she's teaching from the screen in the teaching student. So the digital learning system is a, a very interactive mode of teaching and learning. You know teaching has evolved from the days that we used to have one teacher teaching one class. But now using the digital learning system, I can have myself broadcast to seven classes. We have um, a central place uh, that we shall slowly develop it into to a studio, a teaching studio. Uh, where one teacher can conduct lessons and these lessons are followed uh, in all the other classes. Uh, the teacher through the CCTV cameras can see the students, they can talk, uh, they can teach, the students can follow and um, the students can talk back in case one of them has a question. Uh, he or she can pinpoint the class because she's watching on the screen and then um, pick uh, the student to, to ask whatever question. Uh, of course, with time, we want to develop it in a manner that uh, uh, we can capture uh, him or her, you know, even writing notes. Yeah. At the moment, it is purely in a PowerPoint form, uh, but they can ask and respond. Teknolojia ya Smart Teaching Broadcast ilitumika kwa mara ya kwanza katika shule ya sekondari ya Maranda. Mkuu wa shule ya Maranda Edwin na Machanja anasema teknolojia hii ni bora zaidi sio tu kwa kufunza bali pia kwa kuendesha marudio ya masomo kabla ya mitihani ya yani revision. This is helping us technology helping us to cut on teacher shortage in school and even where we have an expert teacher, he can or she can be able to uh, teach across the classes at a single goal and all the learners benefiting, sharing the notes with the students from the studio. We are helping the technology. They had a need to be able to teach several classes. They have 11 Form 4 classes. They needed uh, to have a platform where they can teach all the 11 classes at once while achieving the benefits uh, of a physical in-class uh, teaching experience between the teacher and the learner. And that is how the teaching broadcast came about. Yeah. Teknolojia inaweza kutumika kwa kufunza na utawala au usimamizi wa shule kwa kati mmoja. As an administrator, it, it, it helps me monitor uh, 
what, what is happening. You know, I can monitor it from the comfort of my office without really having to, to do the Umbwe system where I'm walking around uh, all the classes. I can, I can monitor uh, that uh, classes are being taught. Uh, I can listen in, I can choose to listen in to one of the classes uh, and hear what is going on. Um, as a teacher, it also, it also helps you to reach the students at the same time. Yeah. Um, where <clears throat> an information needs to be passed in the same way. Yeah. You know, even if you are teaching two different classes and you are going in at two different times, uh, you will not deliver uh, the lesson in the same way you delivered in the first. Indemuli anasema changamoto za mpito wa selimia miamoja na matatizo elio shahudiwa kwenye majira ya COVID-19. Yali walazimu wakuwa shule kutafuta mbinu mbadala za kufunza na kusuma mia shule. If uh, you needed to utilize the number, the few teachers that you have, then it meant uh, you have to put more students in a class. And if you have to reduce the class sizes, it means that um, you have to have one more, more streams and uh, therefore increase the number of teachers. So that became a challenge and therefore we had to look for a solution. The system is not uh, meant to undermine the role of physical in-class teaching, no. This system was developed to actually uh, stretch further and try to uh, cover up for the deficits of the physical in-class teaching, such as uh, this particular time when the schools are, are uh, being faced with the challenge of uh, revision for the candidate. Teknolojia hii na mwezesha mwalimu kuafikia wanafunzi wengi weze kanavyo jinzi ilivo bainika katika shule za maranda na machakos. It is uh, very effective especially in the form 4 classes because now we are revising for the exams. We are done with revision. So I will come here and take the whole form 4 block through one topic, you know. And the other teachers will be just monitoring the learners as I teach. It is timely in our school, a time like now when we are revising the candidate. Because as you know machakos we have a number of streams. But through the broadcast, we are able to, to monitor the classes at the same time, as well as do the team teaching. You can find, for example, the case of Miranda High School, 11 Form 4 classes, all at once needing revision. Then also, it was uh, uh, designed to serve also for the, for the challenge of uh, uh, teacher preference, whereby the students prefer to be taught by one particular teacher who they believe is best uh, at tackling a certain topic. It is one way of uh, uh, synergizing uh, the, the strengths of the teachers that you, you have. Uh, one can be delivering and the rest are monitoring a class activity uh, that is being done. Uh, so here you find uh, you, you are collaborating, the teachers are collaborating, they are seeing what is going on in the class when you are teaching. They are also listening to the delivery of the lesson and then at the end of it, you, you, as a department you or as uh, members of a given subject, you can sit down and even discuss uh, the delivery of uh, the lesson. Teknolojia ya smart teaching broadcast kutoka smart schools technologies inatambulika zaidi kwa kusaidia shule kupata suluhu na majibu kwa matatizo ya teknolojia mbali na kuleta uyano katika kufunza miongoni mwalimu the students can hear the teacher and the students can ask the teacher the questions yeah then the students can also see the teacher a visual interaction yeah they can see the teacher and the teacher can see them as they ask the questions as they re, uh, he, he responds to the students. Also, by way of illustration, uh, the teacher is able to, uh, to achieve an illustrative interaction with the students. That is, he is able to stream live the teaching materials, the diagrams, the notes. He's able to stream them live to the classes. And the students uh, fairly like it, yeah. Um, maybe uh, because they, they, they are being handled by one person. Uh, secondly, is also the excitement uh, that uh, they, 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 they can watch uh, the, the teacher, they can talk to the teacher and also they can hear what another student in another class is, uh, is asking. Yeah? Because when the, 
the student is asking a teacher the others can can listen to it walimu kwa wanafunzi wanasema teknolojia ya smart teaching broadcast imewafaa pakubwa we have to we have to integrate ICT in our teaching and learning whether we like it or not we have to evolve with change there's no way we can now stick on the old methods of learning we have to adopt things as they come and this method is effective because the learners number one are very attentive because they are seeing something new they are seeing their teacher on a screen and they want to listen to what the teacher is saying they also want to answer questions they want to test the gadgets they want to see if the thing is really working we have shortage of teachers in this country but an experience of our teacher is being seen by making use of this broadcast and helping all the students in our school Shadrach Mitty, KTN News.